Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Darren Elkins versus Daniel Pineda. Darren Elkins, 28 wins, 11 losses, 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights, 2-2 and two in his last 4, plus 105 even um, as a betting as a betting as betting wise. 40 years old, 5'10 with a 71 inch reach. Fighting Daniel Pineda, who's 28 wins, 16 losses, 1 win. 1-3-0-1 oh, in, in his last five fights. The one win is against Tucker Lutz Guillotine a little over a year and a half ago. Came back for Alex Caceres in a absolute war of a fight. And then it actually has a pretty decent outing against Nathaniel Wood. It was getting beat up a lot of it, but he also had some di uh, some pretty good moments as of his own. Minus 130 favorite, 39 years old. 5'7 with a 69-inch reach, 2-inch reach for Darren Elkins while being 3 inches taller as well for Elkins. We already know what Elkins is going to want to do. Heavy, heavy grappling, offensive grapple. When I think about this fight is, can Pineda do enough to keep Elkins off of him? And if, if Elkins can get him down, can Pineda consistently get off the mat. Personally, I don't think Pineda will consistently for three rounds always get off the mat. I do think Pineda is the better striker. I think that's pretty clear. I think Elkins gets hit a ton. I do think Pineda's grappling is slept on a little bit. He Again, he has 28 wins, but he also has 19 submissions. He's been finished nine out of 16 times, 16 losses in his career, but again, he has 19 submissions. I mean, it's pretty freaking ridiculous. But, you know, Elkins being a guy that's only been submitted by Charles Oliveira, I believe. But, 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 yeah, Charles Oliveira by armbar. So, again, I, 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 I do like Darren Elkins. I think he made this fight an absolute war of a fight I just see even at 39 Daniel Pineda still having a little bit more Pineda I like for the win and as always subscribe like comment peace